Welcome! In this video, we'll be looking at finding the derivative of a quadratic polynomial using the definition of the derivative. So, we're interested in finding the derivative, d over dx is the derivative operator, of the function x squared minus 4x. And we're asked to use the definition of the derivative, which means we can't just use a simple formula. We need to go back to the first principles. So first, we're going to identify our function. And let's give it a name. Let's call it f of x. Uh, we could call it something else, but f is a pretty common name. And our function is to take x, square it, and subtract 4x. We will find that the derivative, f prime of x, will be equal to 2x minus 4. And if you know the rules, uh, the x squared, its derivative gives me 2x. And the 4x, its derivative gives me the 4. So we need to find out why this is true using the definition of the derivative. So let's see what we get. The definition of the derivative is always defined as the limit of the average rate of change. So here, this fraction is the average rate of change. It's also called the difference quotient. Uh, we take our function evaluated at x plus h. We subtract the function evaluated at x. This gives me how much the function is changed between two points. We divide it by h. This gives me the average rate of change, the change in the function over the change in x. And then we need to take a limit as h goes to 0 of that difference quotient. In order to calculate this derivative, when we calculate f of x plus h, we need to understand what f means. So our function takes its input and calculates an output. And so anything that goes inside of the input is going to be replaced in two locations. So when I calculate f of x plus h, we're going to take x plus h and square it. And we're going to take x plus h and multiply it by negative 4 and add the results. In order to calculate this, we need to expand x plus h squared as x plus h times x plus h so that I can FOIL that out. <clears throat> so we're going to take x times x, x times h, h times x, and h times h, and we'll expand that all out. In addition, uh, we are going to take this negative 4 and distribute it to the x and to the h, so we get negative 4x and negative 4h. So here's the simplified version. I have x plus h squared rewritten and minus 4 times x plus h rewritten. All right, so now we found f of x plus h. So we're ready to use the definition of the derivative. The derivative is defined to be the limit as h goes to 0 of the average rate of change. So we start by writing this down. And we're going to replace f of x plus h with its formula and f of x with its formula. And I've done that with color coding here. Now, it's important that we replace f of x plus h, that's a single number, with a single formula. And that's why I've put it inside parentheses. And minus f of x, we've put f of x's formula inside parentheses. I have to do that so that I remember when I subtract, this negative sign is going to distribute to both terms. So when I distribute it, I get minus x squared, minus x squared, and I get plus 4x. Okay? All right. So what we're doing right now is we're not doing anything with a limit. We're focusing on the input of the limit. Okay? And so we are, we are uh, squaring that Sorry, we are um, we're simplifying this difference quotient. Okay, the first thing is x squared minus x squared, that cancels. And uh, minus 4x and plus 4x, that cancels. Okay, and so we can rewrite this. I'm left with 2xh plus h squared minus 4h. Um, when I do the limit step, I'm going to set h to 0, 
and I can't do it with dividing by h, so I need to cancel that. And the best way to do that is to factor h out of the top, so that when I factor it, I get h times what's left is 2x plus h minus 4, and I can now cancel the h's and rewrite my limit. And now that I've stopped dividing by h, I'm ready to evaluate the limit. So the limit is going to take my h to 0, and so this h will become 0. And notice I've stopped writing the limit, because I've just found the value of the limit. At the step before, the 2x plus h minus 4, that's the input to the limit, and 2x plus 0 minus 4, that's the output to the limit. And so what have I found? I found that f prime of x equals 2x minus 4, and that's what we were wanting to show from the very beginning.